Vader Teaser 2 is done and ready for upload. I posted a screenshot of it on Instagram, and if that post hits 40,000 likes, which helps promote the channel and the fan film, then I'll drop the actual teaser immediately. This is outrageous. It's unfair. We would be honored if you would join us. So we all knew that there was supposed to be this scene in The Force Awakens that was going to have Luke from The Empire Strikes Back fighting against Vader on Bespin, but it'd show us a different angle and a different scene that we never got. And if you didn't know that, well, now you do. The point was to show it from Rey's perspective as she looked onwards during the Force Back vision. They went as far as casting the actor to play young Mark Hamill and to touch up his face with CGI. The scene was, and this is rumored, supposed to showcase the famous I am your father scene. However, from an angle that we never got from far away and to the side. Here's the actor that they got for it, and apparently it was shot, but we never got it in the final cut. Why JJ cut this out, I have no clue, but he decided against it. The opening of the movie was also supposed to be different. We were supposed to get the lightsaber floating through space, which is kind of confusing to me seeing as it fell to the depths of Cloud City, which means it just fall to the city far below, or in Legends, how it was scooped up by a droid in the garbage chute. The hand and lightsaber were then given to Darth Sidious, where he made a clone of Luke, and you know, so on and so forth with Legends, you know how that goes. Now in the Aftermath novels, there were these cloaked figures who went looking for Vader's lightsaber, so could it be that the person who sold it to them also found Luke's? Could that person be Maz Kanata? I don't know, that's just a theory I have, but I hope we'll have some questions answered finally in episode 9 by the man himself, JJ. I've got full confidence in him. Anyways, I think it was cool to show this actual image that was put online of the actor. His name is Robert Bolter, and he looks like a pretty good Luke to me, as long as they do what they did with Tarkin and match the face. I think the scene would have been a huge hit in the film. I mean, we were almost there. She was on Cloud City and heard Vader's breathing, but it was unfortunate that they cut it. I hope we'll get it someday, in a deleted scene or maybe a special edition or something like that. You know what they do. Now, of course, some people have expressed their opinions that they don't want anything to be touched or changed with the Bespin scene or any of the prequels or original scenes for that matter, especially the originals. So I can see where they're coming from in that sense. However, I still think it would have been really cool to get a different angle or a different shot. I know JJ would have done that really well. Oh well. As for the fan film, things are looking pretty good, guys. If we hit 40k likes on the Instagram page for that picture, then I'm going to drop that teaser immediately. So don't forget to do that. Check it out and you won't be disappointed. This is an actual shot from the film. So it's not just some made up teaser like the last few. I'll see you all in the next episode of Star Wars Theory, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends. Until then, remember, the Force will be with you, always. Now, fulfill your destiny.